Paranormal activities are the different things that occur that are beyond scientific explanation. It is something that involves what science cannot explain, something extraordinary, or something that is called supernatural. Paranormal beliefs include pseudoscience, ufology, and the other common ones which are spiritualism and ghost hunting. People are engaging in these paranormal activities in one way or another. These things are real and they cause huge damage to one's life if care is not taken. Some people have been taught how to cast spells, or some people browsing the internet to check spells that work. There was a man who wanted to make money and he went to Google how to make money. One of the results that came to him was captivating. It was a spell that could make someone rich. He checked the result and he saw the spell and all the things he needed to do to cast the spell. When it was midnight, he lighted candles and cast a spell. Nothing happened for the first three days. On the fourth day, he started seeing images of like shadows following him. Since then, he has not been normal again. There are many things that we should never try out all in the name of making research or trying to unlock another realm in life. Many Christians have done this. A demon-possessed woman who was taken to a pastor explained how she tried to summon a spirit and then go into another dimension, but she was possessed in the act. We have been given the power to bind anything on earth and free anything on earth. Why should we try to seek another power using some ungodly pronunciations? The Bible says in Matthew 18.18 KJV that, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We should never think of finding power elsewhere when Christ has given us power. We should never experiment with what Christ does not allow. The Bible stated it in Leviticus 19.31 that, Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. God is against all these practices. Anything that has to do with wizardry, sorcery, or summoning demons, God is against it. He is God. He has given us everything, and therefore, why should we want to be practicing what he is forbidding? The day and era we live in has little or no spiritual training. Our society is completely humanistic and hedonistic, and the devil is capitalizing on this. I mean Satan is having a field day with people's ignorance. Let me give an example if you have children that have social media. So you must have come across these different internet challenges that spring up every month or so. Some of these challenges are dancing ones. There was one a few years back that was about planking. One of the popular challenges that people engage in today is summoning spirits. Summoning spirits is not different from divination and the sorcery that God talked against. It's shocking that people love to go beyond their power to do what can bring evil to them. Summoning spirits is not what will leave anyone just like they were. These people you see are using familiar spirits to work. They use these familiar spirits to command other spirits to appear. Some people patronize them to call on their beloved ones who have died. The truth is that some things cannot be explained scientifically in this world. Spiritual things are happening in this world. People are yet to understand that these things are happening under the influence of the demons or the angels of darkness. They are the ones responsible for many paranormal events. They are using these things to lure people into investigating them and going beyond where they should. It is a trap that we should never get ourselves into as Christians. If you have, for once, got yourself into any of these paranormal activities and it is affecting you, God will deliver you. These things are real. They are the reason many people are being tormented. There are innocent people out there who have been affected by paranormal activities. One of the popular kind of spirit summoning is the game called Charlie Charlie. This game was popular in the year 2015 and it came back in the year 2017 again. Two pencils will be placed on top of each other on a paper. The paper is segregated into four sections. One section says yes, another one says no, one says yes, another says no. And then you summon a spirit called Charlie by calling its name and then asking it a question and it gives you an answer by moving the pencil into the correct section. I watched on YouTube kids and adults playing this game, and this game is real. The spirit truly answers. The spirit answers by moving the pencil into the correct section. I watched some of the videos on YouTube, and these people played this game innocently. Children, all the way up to adults. When they played this game and some supernatural things began to happen, these people ran out of the room screaming. There is no wind or fan in that room, but the pencil would move. I mean, I watched at least 20 of these videos, and not one of them did not scream and cry out when those pencils started moving. 
When the children and adults see these pencils moving, they know that they didn't do it, but something not of this world did. There are some videos where furniture begins to stand up or furniture drops on the floor. There's a real presence that comes into the room. They run and scream. This is not an innocent game. This is not chess or checkers. Let me tell you the spirit world is waiting for an opportunity to enter into people's life, and this is a sure way for them to do so. They will literally pour into people's lives. Do you know what shocked me about the age of these kids? The devil is a bad devil. He has no morals whatsoever. You need to educate your family about the spirit world. The spirit world is indiscriminate of age. Demons are real, and you know it. Some people accounted that after they played the game in the night, they were seeing shadows, hearing footsteps. These things are real and cannot be explained scientifically. These things are spiritual. They are things that bring demons to torment people. The game is what you must never allow your children to partake in. Demonic possessions are real. Let me tell you the truth. Once a demon gets access into a house, it won't easily leave. It will do everything it can to stay. Demons are not stupid. I would even go so far as to say that they are more intelligent than us humans. Demons have been around longer than we have, watching humanity. Using trial and error and what works and what does not work. Just think how long a demon has been on Earth and how long you've been on Earth. Demons are intelligent spirit beings. They may go away from the house and make you think your house is safe, but it will come back and check to see if there is an opening into your house. And if there is, it will get seven spirits more wicked than it to come along. You should not invite them into your life, neither should you try to fight them in your own might. We are glad that we have a greater power in Christ that can free us from every oppression of the devil, but that doesn't mean we should get ourselves into what will haunt us for a long time. The fact about demons is that they possess people and they will torture people. Many of these things started from these paranormal activities the people engaged in. You are a Christian. You have been called into the light of God. The power of God is a shield that covers you all the time. If any demon tries to get to you, the power of God will consume them, but you must never get into their traps. They lay traps for people. These traps are the paranormal activities. Let us focus on the real thing Christ has taught us to do. In all these things, what should Christians do since we have been given the power over all these demons? Jesus said in Mark 16, 15 through 18 KJV that, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth shall not be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The first thing is that we must preach the gospel, and that should always come first. We must get the gospel to everyone. It is a command from Jesus, and it is what we must do at all costs. Also, we have been given the power to deliver people. While preaching the gospel, there will be people who will need deliverance. People who are being haunted by ghosts or demons. That is where we can come in. We need to attack these demons and ghosts and cast them out. You, as a Christian, must not go to the cemetery and haunt ghosts. It is an absurd thing to do. You must not light candles and summon spirits. We are not called to do that. We are not sorcerers. We are the children of the highest. If we look around, it might not be obvious. Some people are being attacked by demons. They appear to be fine. They appear to be doing good, but what they battle at night is great. God has given us the power to help these people. God has given us the power to set the captives free. God has given us the power to trample under feet serpent and scorpion, and they cannot harm us. These spirits tormenting people are serpents and scorpions that we must trample under our feet. They are the ones we must confront. This is why you must be filled with power. You cannot afford to be a Christian in this age and lack the power of God in you. You must go to God in place of prayer and ask for power. Don't settle for superficial Christianity. Don't settle for powerlessness. These demons must know that we are not sorcerers. They must know that we carry the power that is more than theirs. They must know that they cannot trap us. 1 John 4.4 4, KJV Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world.